When, Gen 9 Pokemon? When is the next update coming out? Will it take me months to talk about the update after it has been released? Back at it again to talk about all the hard-hitting questions. We actually got the answer to this question not too long ago. It's pretty exciting. The new Generation 9 Radical Red update is on its way. We don't have a release date. We have no idea when it's coming out, but this is not a bad thing. Like, do we really want to rush game like previous games that people are really mad about? No, absolutely not. We got the update that a lot of the Generation 9 Pokemon move and abilities had been implemented in the game and they even gave us some screenshots. Now they've added a little thing at the bottom that tells you, hey, when does the Pokemon evolve? Some moves that they implemented is their Shed Tail. Look at that, incredible. And then, oh, Hit Tem Times is obviously a reference to Population Bomb. We have a Gold Dango and his insane ability, good as gold. Okay, so we can see we got the Pokemon they have the abilities. With Scarlet and Violet, there's been some updates to abilities. For example, Protean, Libero, and Battle Bomb, they all got nerfed pretty bad. And I am really hoping that they keep Greninja Cinderace and Male Scar's ability just as normal. They've implemented the Generation 9 starters. And what is your favorite Generation 9 starter? I have to admit, I start out with Fue Coco and Skeledurge is insane with Torch Song. But my brother started out with Serigato. And Meow Scarda and Flower Trick are so good. I think that's my favorite. I am definitely starting with Saragato. We have a Hall of Fame shot, and we can see we got Palafin. It looks like Zero to Hero is working just fine. That or 100 evolve it into Hero Mode Palafin. Knowing our look, that's probably what's gonna happen. We have Paradox Delibird Iron Bundle, which means Paradox Pokemon are in the game, which is awesome. We have Quaquavel, we have Veluza, we have Pasadenian Tauros, and we have Wug Trio. Wait, how many Pokemon are there in uh, the, the, the Pokedex? Let me just uh, check this out. Oh, 1,015. Yeah, I can think of 1,014 Pokemon I'd rather see than Wug Trio. Other examples of Paradox Pokemon, Grey Tusk, plus the Booster Energy item. Also, back to the Paradox Pokemon. I wonder where they're gonna be. They're pretty special. I personally think they're probably gonna be raids or they're gonna be like Victory Road encounters. Maybe Sevian Island? I hope not. The thing that I am the most afraid of is this. No, not, not Wattrel, but the fact that the gym leader Faulkner has Wattrel. Do you know why they're probably taking so long to get this update up and running? It's probably because they're trying to make these people insane. Come on, Brock and Iron Thorns? Jeez, Clear or Lance with Roaring Moon? Shoot, they're probably gonna have Lightning Leader Surge just throw out a Maridon. Why not? Ugh. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for everyone to have a Kartana and they all have Flower Trick and everyone's gonna cry. It's gonna be insane. They are gonna make this game so much more difficult and I'm all here for it. It's ex <laughs> That's why we play the game, right? It may be impossible, but we love the challenge. Okay, now there's like the bigger questions. Are they gonna add all the legendaries in the game? I can see the, the treasures, you know, all the different treasures. I can see them being added to the game. I don't know about Maridon and Koridon. What comes to box legendaries? Sometimes they're available to the players, sometimes they're not. So I don't know, we'll see. So what things do they not have in the game? They couldn't add everything. So they could add to Rectalization. I kind of like it. I never really use it in a competitive way. I've just used it to just buff up my Skeledurge or something like that, you know, at the just to make them sweep everyone. There's also no abilities like Co-Star and Commander, which are completely reliant on double battles. If you don't have double battles and these abilities are useless, I don't think we should be missing these abilities too much. What's some wish fulfillment? What are just some what are just some things that we want to happen? Something that I really want to see is the Galarian starters get megas. A lot of other Pokemon have their G-Max forms that turn into megas. I would love some for these guys. It would look really cool. I hope we get some of the weirder items like red card and the loaded dice in the game. I'm not the biggest fan of fake mon. All right. But Sivian Pokemon have become an integral part, I think, of Radical Red. They're so unique and really shows the flair of Supercell and his team. So I'm kind of hoping there's a Passimian poke, a uh, Pasadian Pokemon who gets a Sevian form. And who knows, maybe they can add some new Paradox Pokemon, you know? 
that would be really cool. The thing that I'm excited about is building new teams and finding new synergies that have never been seen before since Radical Red has more Pokemon than Sky and Violet will probably ever will. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give a subscribe and I'll catch you guys till next time. Also watch this video if you want to know how I ranked past updates of Pokemon Radical Red. Catch you later. Peace. Thank you.